Tetraethyl ammonium T, NET plus 4, or ET 4N plus, is a quaternary ammonium cation consisting of four ethyl groups attached to a central nitrogen atom, and is positively charged. It is a counterion used in the research laboratory to prepare lipophilic salts of inorganic anions. It is used similarly to tetrabutyl ammonium, the difference being that its salts are less lipophilic and more easily crystallized. Preparation The chloride salt is prepared by the reaction of triethylamine and an ethyl halide. At 3N plus ETX at 4N plus X minus this method works well for the preparation of tetraethylammonium iodide, where X equals I. Most tetraethylammonium salts are prepared by salt metathesis reactions. For example, the synthesis of tetraethylammonium perchlorate, a salt that has been useful as a supporting electrolyte for polarographic studies in non-aqueous solvents, is carried out by mixing the water-soluble salts tetraethylammonium bromide and sodium perchlorate in water, from which the water-insoluble tetraethylammonium perchlorate precipitates at 4N plus Br minus plus Na plus chlorine tetroxide, minus Na plus Br minus plus at 4N plus chlorine tetroxide, minus other examples include the cyanide, at 4NCN, and trichloristanate, at 4NSNCl3. In some cases, salts are produced of anions that cannot be generated in water, such as the tetrahedral NiCl4 2 minus salt. Uses the principal chemical characteristic of tetraethylammonium salts is their ability to engage in processes involving phase transfer, such as phase transfer catalysis. Typically, the four ethyl groups surrounding the nitrogen are too small to facilitate efficient ion transfer between aqueous and organic phases, but tetraethylammonium salts have been found to be effective in a number of such applications, and these are exemplified under the headings of the individual salts. T salts such as tetraethylammonium tetrafluoroborate and tetraethylammonium methylsulfonate are used in supercapacitors as organic electrolytes. Properties The effective radius of the tetraethylammonium ion is reported as approximately 0.45 nm, which is comparable in size to that of the hydrated K plus ion. The ionic radius for T is given as 0.385 nm. Several thermodynamic parameters for the T ion are also recorded. The partition coefficient of T iodide in octanal water, Po W, was determined experimentally to be 6.9 times 10 minus 4, or log P approximately equals minus 3.16. Biology Pharmacology the literature dealing with the pharmacologically related properties of tetraethylammonium is vast, and research continues. It is clear that T blocks autonomic ganglia, it was the first ganglionic blocker drug to be introduced into clinical practice. However, T also produces effects at the neuromuscular junction and at sympathetic nerve terminals. At the mechanistic level, T has long been known to block voltage dependent K plus channels in nerve, and it is thought that this action is involved in the effects of T at sympathetic nerve terminals. With respect to activity at the neuromuscular junction, T has been found to be a competitive inhibitor at nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, although the details of its effect on these receptor proteins are complex. T also blocks Ca2 plus activated K plus channels, such as those found in skeletal muscle and pituitary cells. It has also been reported that T inhibits aquaporin APQ channels, but this still seems to be a disputed issue. A partial effect of these voltage-dependent and permeability properties within each system mentioned above is not only due to the aforementioned inhibitory properties of T, but also its ability to inhibit Na K atpase. Acting on the extracellular vestibule of the Na K atpase, inhibiting K plus access similar to Wabayan, T further accentuates the disrupted K and Na gradients within each of these systems. Clinical considerations Although T, sometimes under the name Edamon, was explored in a number of different clinical applications, including the treatment of hypertension. Its major use seems to have been as a probe to assess the capacity for vasodilation in cases of peripheral vascular disease. 
because of dangerous, even fatal reactions in some patients, as well as inconsistent cardiovascular responses, tea was soon replaced by other drugs. Tea is not orally active. Typical symptoms produced in humans include the following, dry mouth, suppression of gastric secretion, drastic reduction of gastric motility, paralysis of urinary bladder, and relief of some forms of pain. Most studies with tea seem to have been performed using either its chloride or bromide salt without comment as to any distinctions in effect, but it is noteworthy that Burkle and his co-workers preferred the use of tea chloride in order to avoid the sedative effects of the bromide ion. Toxicology An extensive study of the toxicology of tetraethylammonium chloride in mice, rats and dogs was published by Gruzet and co-workers in 1948. These workers reported the following symptoms in mice and rats receiving toxic parenteral doses, tremors, incoordination, flaccid prostration, and death from respiratory failure within 10 to 30 minutes. Dogs exhibited similar symptoms, including incoordination, flaccid prostration, respiratory and cardiac depression, ketosis, mydriasis, erythema, and death from respiratory paralysis and circulatory collapse. After non-lethal doses, symptoms abated within 15 to 60 minutes. There was little evidence of toxicity from chronic administration of non-lethal doses. These investigators recorded the following acute toxicities, as LD50s for T-chloride, error ranges not shown. Mouse, 65 mg per kilogram, I, P, 900 mg per kilogram, P, O, rat, approximately 56 mg per kilogram, I, B, 110 mg per kilogram, I, M, 2630 mg per kilogram, P, O, dog, approximately 36 mg per kilogram, I, B, 58 mg per kilogram, I, M, another research group, working at about the same time, but using tetraethylammonium bromide, published the following LD. 50 data Mouse, 38 mg per kilogram, I, B, 60 mg per kilogram, I, P, greater than 2,000 mg per kilogram, P, O, Rat, 63 mg per kilogram, I, B, 115 mg per kilogram, I, P, Dog, 55 mg per kilogram, I, B, Rabbit, 72 mg per kilogram, I, B, Writing in 1950, Graham made some observations on the toxic effects of tetraethylammonium bromide in humans. In one subject, described as a healthy woman, 300 mg of tetraethylammonium bromide, i.e., produced incapacitating carreriform, i.e., resembling the effects of tubocurarine, paralysis of the skeletal muscles, as well as marked drowsiness. These effects were largely dissipated within two hours. Citing the work of other investigators, Graham noted that Burkle had also produced alarming carreriform effects. In humans with I, B, doses of 32 mg per kilogram of tetraethylammonium chloride. See also Tetraethylammonium bromide Tetraethylammonium chloride Tetraethylammonium iodide References